Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to create a partition that is cross-platform for Windows and Mac. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is click Start and search Computer Management. Okay, and This will come up and you want to go down and click Disk Management here. Okay, So what you want to do is find the hard drive that you want to create this partition on. I'm going to do it on local disk G in the unallocated space, which is my external hard drive. So basically, you know, if I want to get stuff from my friend's Mac, I can do that. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is basically you're going to, you want to shrink your volume. Oh, and I should mention that this only works if you have XP Service Pack 2, Vista Service Pack 1, any version or any version of Windows 7. And it's only going to work if you've got a Mac uh, OS Snow Leopard or newer. If you've got older versions, it might not work, this format. So just an FYI. So first thing you want to do is you need to shrink the volume of your current hard drive so that way you can you know, make space for the new one. So the, as an example, let's pretend that my whole hard drive is 100 gigs and let's say I've got 10 gigs worth of stuff on there. Okay. So what you want to do is right click the current partition and click shrink volume. And this new screen will come up. Okay, And it's going to ask you what size you want to shrink it to. So basically, you can pick whatever you want. So let's just pretend I want 40 gigs on this current hard drive. So you're going to put in 40,000 because it's in megabytes. So 40,000 megabytes, 40 gigs, same thing. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to click shrink. That's it. Um, I obviously can't do that, so I'm going to click cancel. And what's going to happen is you're going to see that blue thinking icon. Okay. And it's going to take a while. So don't do this if you're in a rush. Um, I'm not really sure how long it takes. I think it took like an hour. But I was sleeping, so I don't know. Um, but it takes a while, okay? And once it's done, you'll get your cursor back, like you see. So, yeah, just don't do it if you're in a rush, okay? So, pretending we create a 40 gig partition, this would say, you know, that you've got a 40 gig partition, and then it would say 60 gigs unallocated, okay? Um, basically, now you're going to use the unallocated space to make your cross platform partition. So, all you need to do is just right click on the unallocated space. Click New Simple Volume, and it's going to come up with this wizard. And then all you need to do is just follow it. So click Next. Okay, New Simple Volume, the space, well, pretending that we had a 100 gig hard drive, uh, it would be 60,000, right? But I'm just going to do it as all the unallocated space I have, so 65 gigs. So click Next, and then assign the following drive letter. You can do it to whichever you know, drive letter you want. Next, and then the important part is a format partition. So format this volume with the following settings. So what you want to do is do file system, but you want to do XFAT. Okay, this is the cross-platform partition for both Mac and Windows. Okay, and then I'm just going to name it Mac Drive. So that way when it comes up, I know it's the Mac Drive. And then perform quick, perform a quick format. So next, and then this is just like a summary window. All you need to do is just click finish. And now I've got a XFAT partition on this hard drive. Um, that's basically it, you know. NTFS is a Windows-only partition, so Mac can read that partition, but it can't write to it. So this is why you're creating an XFAT partition, because um, this partition can do, you know, write and read on both Windows and Mac. So that's basically it. You're good to go. And you can get stuff from your friend's Macs now or whatever you want to get. Okay, so I hope this helped you.